Yeah, it was an Annie. <laughs> no, they dyed my hair blonde. That was Pepper. She's a mean one. <laughs> My best friend Jenny and I would play hooker in my bedroom. We'd set up chairs to make the front seat of a car and take turns driving or standing on the sidewalk. <laughs> Jenny was a compulsive liar. She disappointed all the neighborhood kids when Live Aid happened and her father didn't fly them all to London in his private jet because he wasn't the president of Benetton. <laughs> she was the first person to tell me how babies are made. So I stomped home to my mother and I said, you're not going to believe what she came up with this time. <laughs> it's weird to think of all the things I did as a teenager sober. <laughs> we breathed heavily and we sweated and we made out, but I had not so much as had a tampon in my vagina before that moment and it proved an unwelcoming orifice. <laughs> we couldn't get it in at any angle. So we went downstairs and opened a bag of Cool Ranch Doritos and watched television. You know that there was a time before Cool Ranch, right? Cool Ranch Doritos are only as old as my sex life. 1986, it was a good year for me and for seasoned tortilla chips. The first time he tried putting his tongue down there, we were naked in the back seat of his parents' car, and the next thing I knew, he was pushing me out of the car into the snow. And I looked up, and his face was covered with blood, and I was horrified, because I'm 14, and I thought I got my period. It turned out he had gotten a bloody nose from my poor, neurotic Jewish boyfriend. <laughs> when you're a teenager, you never get to have sex in a bed. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not eyeliner, Mom. I'm 14 now, so please don't condescend. Those aren't my cigarettes, oh, Dad. I was holding them for a friend. I'm going to chase this is parents on all. Ma'am, we haven't been drinking. My eyes are a bit cause her won't stress me out. 